Hey, what's going, y'all? It is yours truly once again. See, my thing is, you think about the fact that you'll hear a particular feminine gender. She'll say something like, I'm tired of the games. She'll say that she's tired of the games. But in hindsight, you can also see it as her just tired of playing games. She's not going, she's not going to admit that she was playing games. That's the thing that she's not going to admit. But she will say that she's tired of the games. Now keep that in mind. The fact that you know that she was probably the one playing the games in the first place and she's just tired of playing. It's no it's no different than a lot of these uh a lot of these basketball players, if you will. A lot of these particular basketball players that uh they come up and eventually they'll retire. So that's all that's really is being suggested at that particular moment is that eventually she's going to get tired of the games because in many ways she can't play those same games anymore. Heck, even if she's not playing the game, even if she's not playing the game, but she's around the game a lot instead of being around the truth, she's going to get tired of being around the games. Because see, at the at the at a certain point in her life, she didn't want the truth. Okay, she didn't want it. She thought that was she thought that was whack. But see, really, the game was whack. Because how come now, after time has went by, you all of a sudden want something more truthful because you're tired of the games? Now, some people might make an excuse and say, "Well, that's life. People got to find themselves." No. That's no excuse. Why would you want to be about all these games in the first place? How come you can't just be about the truth in the first place? I think that's what we got to get back to. But I believe that's why one needs to think more about what happens. What happens when she's actually tired of the games? That's because she's really tired of the games she's been playing. And she's tired of the games that's been playing, that's been played on her. Because why, why would you want to put yourself in a situation where you're around a lot of these games all the time? You know, I would think that if you ran into a particular feminine gender, you can encounter her. And this is for you ladies as well. If you've been around a chick that's like this, why would you want to, uh, why would you want to, I guess... Here's my thing. Let me let me kind of refresh what I'm saying. You'll get around a particular feminine gender. You would think that her story would not involve how much she's tired of the games. If anything, her story could be. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, I I, I caught on to people's games early in life and I stayed away from that stuff for the most part. Now, that should help one really think it will help you really think about. The way one's perspective really is out here in this world. And for the most part, that'll let you know a lot of people's perspective is still one that is very simulated, if you will. There's nothing of substance about it. They just now they just now desire the substance. And you would think for someone that was around those games, maybe they want substance now no sometimes they don't even want the substance they just don't want to be around the games but see you got to have something to get you by you got to have something for you to live on it's either going to be natural or it's going to be artificial of course the truth is natural the game is artificial there's no in between meaning meaning that there's no substitute for either or it's either one or the other. Now you want to try to you're going to have the, you're going to have those that try to mix natural and artificial, make it sort of like a uh, cyborg situation. But even that only even that only lasts for so long too. Let me know what y'all think about that. Signing out.